Cotton top tamarind monkeys have a special significance for me. I absolutely love working with them. They're an especially beautiful species, and that enables us to generate greater interest in their preservation. You have to navigate your way through endless forests and swamps to find cotton-top tamarinds in the wild. Extremely shy, they're the size of a cat and weigh less than half a kilo. They live high in the treetops and are one of the most endangered primates on the planet. Cotton-top tamarinds are only found here in Colombia and only in one particular part of the Caribbean region. In the 60s and 70s, they were used en masse for animal experiments, for studies on bowel cancer. Back then, 20 to 30,000 of them were exported to the US. Today, there are only around 7,000 cotton-top tamarinds still living in the wild. Rosamia Guillén used to be a zoo director, but then she sacrificed her career to help protect the species. Today, she runs the Fundación Proyecto Titi. Its biggest sponsor is none other than movie and media giant Disney. Our focus is mainly on researching and protecting cotton-top tamarinds. But right now, the most important factor is that we have to preserve the rainforest in order to save the monkeys. The rainforest here in northern Colombia is comprised of an array of smaller forest areas. Much of the region has already been deforested. The NGO aims to link up the individual woodlands via corridors. The team have their own reforestation center, where they cultivate the right mix of trees and other domestic jungle plants. Our objective is to establish forests that will support the survival of the cotton-top tamarind. The corridors will make it easier for the monkeys to move from one section of woodland to another, and make it easier to reach sources of food. Growing the wooded corridors is trickier than it might sound. Many staff at the NGO are teaching themselves the art of gardening in the Colombian jungle. A lot of the plant species we have in our forests are not commercial varieties, so there's no information available on the best way to plant and grow them. And not everything grows at the first attempt. We sowed these seeds two months ago, and we've seen how these species didn't thrive in plastic containers. So we're now having another try over there, directly in the soil. The gardeners will have to wait a few more weeks to see whether this option proves more successful. We know that it's difficult to restore a forest as opposed to just saving it. It's a complicated process. But it is possible to regenerate the original forest. For the time being, the NGO staff are planting the trees themselves. But the long-term plan is for local farmers to play a bigger role in reforestation efforts. Planting new woodland, however, is not enough to secure the survival of the cotton-top tamarinds. Proyecto Titi also works with villages in the area, such as Los Limites. The residents used to hunt the monkeys for sale. The NGO team have now helped locals develop new sources of income. The women in the village have set up a handicrafts group, turning disposable plastic bags into colorful handbags.
We also make these stuffed toys. The message is, buy a fake animal, not the real thing. And in the process, benefit the community and help ensure the survival of the cotton-top tamarind monkeys. Proceeds from sales are shared between Fundación Proyecto Titi and the women who make the toys. The NGO has been on the ground here for 16 years. There are now signs all over the village promoting the conservation of the cotton-top tamarinds. The monkeys are also on the curriculum at the local school. The students here play a game where they represent the animals. Each pupil has to fight for their tree, represented by their chair. And to illustrate the lack of trees in the real world, there aren't enough chairs to go around. What's happening to the creatures of the forest? They're going to die. They've no food, no home, no tree. Education for the next generation, reforestation for the future, and new lines of work. Proyecto TT has a multifaceted approach to achieving its goal. If people don't have a steady income and know nothing about this species, it will all be for nothing. It's the same thing if people do have information, but they have no idea how to preserve the forest. We hope that our vision will enable us to achieve our objective, saving the cotton-top tamarinds from extinction.